So a couple months back, I shared this video that a lot of you seem to resonate with quite a lot. And I talked about how there's this Jim Rohn philosophy that you need to work on yourself as hard as you work on your goals. And I introduced this concept I also learned from Jim Rohn called strategy pages, which is where you have a strategy journal for any goal that takes you over a year to achieve. And every night you feel frustrated, you just write down one strategy page. Now in this video, I wanna introduce this strategy journal philosophy, how I've used it, and how it's made a big impact on my life. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day. Now in case you missed it this week, I just launched a Patreon with some cool stuff for you. It is called Go Sage Mode. Pretty epic, I know. You don't have to let me know. It's pretty cool. I get it. So you can either check it out in the description or go sagemode.com. There's some pretty cool perks there for you. Very curious what you think. Now, to get into this journaling exercise. So we're going to also describe exactly what I do a lot more in one of the Patreon calls right there. But the key thing is that, let's start with the what, all right? What is a strategy book or a strategy journal? So with Jim Rohn, he talks about on the days where you want to give up, or the days you want to quit, or when you're dealing with a very frustrating goal that the trajectory is so long, like we're talking in the years, that there are many, many hundreds or thousands of days where you want to quit. So what you do is you buy a moleskin or a notebook, whatever you like, and then every day that you're frustrated, ideally every day, but for me, it was every day I wanted to quit, I would just write down a couple things. The first thing is, what is not working? Let's say you're trying to lose weight and you followed this diet plan that you thought would help you and yet your weight has not changed, your weight's gone up, something has gone down, the weight has gone down but you don't look any fitter. You write down what's not working. My YouTube channel's not growing. I'm broken in debt. I'm still single. Whatever you want it to be. What is not working? Define the problem. The second thing is what barriers are coming up? Because again, you want to systematically and strategically overcome each one of those barriers. So it could be, you know, I cooked one day this week and I did that every week for the last four weeks and I haven't lost weight. Okay, barrier is I'm not losing weight even though I cooked once per week. Hey, I'm still single. Why am I still single? I don't know. I went out three times this week to the bar and I didn't meet any girls or I didn't meet any guys. Well, that's the barrier. I went out, but I didn't get to meet anybody. Okay, I want to write my book, or I want to start my YouTube channel. Well, I uploaded five videos and there's no viewers. That's the barrier. I uploaded content, no one's watching. Or I only wrote 50 words in my book and I need to write 100,000 for it to actually get published. Define the barriers. What are the things really holding you back and systematically not working? You know, I need to pay off my debt, but I don't earn enough money to actually save any of it, or my expenses are too high. Get all the barriers down there on paper. Now from here, what I do is I jot down 10 ideas per barrier. So I'm eating healthy and I think I'm going to the gym enough, but I'm not losing weight. What are 10 other ideas I can do? Maybe I need to go to the gym four days a week instead of two. Maybe I need to cook four days a week instead of one day a week. Maybe I need to sleep more than five hours. Maybe I need to stop having soda every day or have one soda instead of three sodas. Get down 10 ideas. I'm in debt. I'm trying to get out of debt. What are 10 ideas I can do? In the earn more money category, it could be get a second job, work on the weekends, be a bartender, start freelancing, tutor French, right? Earn more income, save income. I could cancel those subscriptions that cost me $100 a month, put that towards paying off my debt. Maybe it'll take two, three years, maybe it won't. What can I do to cut my expenses even more? If I have to, I can not go on that trip I planned. Put that 3000 towards my debt. I can stop going to the bar and dropping $80 every Friday night. That's like $300, 350 a month. That could go towards paying off your debt. So just idea dump. Have this idea sex magic happening all over the page and try to get 10 for each of the things you're working on. And then the final step for me is I always end the page with, okay, this is what's going on. This is that. This is that. I will not quit no matter what. It's corny, but I put the affirmation there. If you're really going after a goal for years, you will feel a lot of pain. I, there's no other way to put it. I felt so much pain, so many negative emotions for years 
not just like a couple weeks, not just a couple months, but years of smashing your head on the wall. And some goals, that's just what it takes. So I would put affirmations, usually from the greatest salesman in the world or from Think and Grow Rich. These are just affirmations for improving your life. And on the bottom, I always end it with the three habits I can implement right now. So you may have a hundred ideas for how to improve your life or overcome these barriers, but that doesn't mean anything unless they're implemented. So what I do is I focus on number one, what's most likely to work, and number two, what is easiest to implement. Because having a sheet of a hundred things to improve your life is overwhelming. And instead, if you focus on the three habits you can do tomorrow that are the easiest to implement and most likely to work, you're gonna actually do them. And again, at the end of the day, it comes down to implementation. Not much else really works if you don't do something. So that is how I would recommend you doing a strategy journal or do strategy pages. I would do it every night, honestly. And that's why I'm currently in the development phases of creating a master of the day journal to do that. Because there isn't a journal that I personally use that really is aligned with the strategy pages idea and also kind of the philosophy that I'm talking about. But again, that's gonna be something I notify the people first that are the Patreon subscribers there. So if that's your thing, check out Go Sage Mode, gosagemode.com there in the description. So I hope this video helps. I recommend trying strategy pages. Just take five or 10 minutes every night to reflect what's working, what's not working, and what you have to do differently to improve your life. So before you go, I want you to let me know in the description there, what is a goal that has taken you over a year to achieve and you're still working on it? Because that is the best goal to use a strategy book for because probably there have been in that one year alone dozens if not a hundred days where you felt discouraged. So. I want you to know, comment for us below, let me know what goal it is you're working on and it's taken you at least a year. 